Hey guys, what's up? This is HK with Tech Wrapped. MIUI 10 stable ROM port is now out for Xiaomi Mi A1. Unlike the previous releases, this is a standalone ROM and not an Android backup, so you can download the ROM zip and flash it just like any other ROM via custom recovery. So about the installation of this ROM, first take backup of everything you have on your phone as you need an unlock bootloader with a custom recovery installed and you might also need to wipe the storage within the recovery. Unlocking and flashing the recovery is same general procedure you follow for any other ROM and these are the commands I have used to unlock and flash custom recovery. First to check the unlock bootloader status, next to unlock the bootloader itself and then boot temporarily to the TWRP recovery. So once you have unlocked the bootloader and flashed the custom recovery, you need to download these two files. One is the customized MIUI 10 ROM for Mi A1 and the other is the Mi 5X user data image which we need to flash first in order to get the MIUI 10 ROM boot on our phone. To flash the user data image, hold volume down and power button simultaneously to boot to the fast boot menu and once you are there, connect the phone to the PC, download the platform tool zip from the description, extract the contents of the zip file to your new folder and place the user data.img file within that folder. Now hold shift on keyboard and hit right click on your mouse and select open command window or PowerShell here and this is the command to flash the user data image. Fastboot space flash space user data space user data dot img and press enter and wait until the flashing is successfully completed. Once it is done boot back to the recovery by holding volume up and power button and once you are in the recovery, go to the wipe tab from home screen, advanced tab, select all partitions except the storage ones like internal storage, micro SD card and USB OTG and swipe to wipe. If for some reason the internal storage size is showing as 9 or 10 GB, then go to the wipe tab again and select format data option now instead of the advanced wipe and here type yes to continue. Do note that formatting data partition will wipe everything on your phone storage. Now go back to the home screen, reboot tab and reboot the recovery again. Now let's check the internal storage size and as you can see it is 51 GB now. Finally it's time to flash the ROM, so connect the phone to the PC and transfer the 1.2 GB MIUI 10 ROM zip file to your phone storage. Back to the DWRP, install tab from home screen. Select the transfer ROM zip file and swipe to confirm flash. The ROM already has Google Apps included so there is no need to manually install the Google Apps and even the ROM is pre-rooted so don't flash Majisk or SuperSU again. So once the installation is done, go to reboot tab from home screen and reboot the system. As this is a customized MIUI 10 ROM, the boot animation is slightly different compared to stock MIUI 10. This is the setup screen. And as you can see guys, this is the multi-language ROM and there are lots of regional languages included in this ROM apart from English and Chinese. About the themes, there is only one theme included which is the limitless theme. So we are done setting up the phone. As you can see, the Google Play Store is getting updated already. There is HD capable notification. So yes, VLT should be working fine. This is the lock screen and this is the default launcher which is the MIUI launcher. But you can also get the POCO launcher from the Google Play Store if you had already signed up for the beta version. If you hadn't then still you can get it installed by manually sideloading the APK file you can find in the video description. And the POCO launcher with an app drawer works just fine with this ROM. For best optimal results I would suggest you to change the ROM DPI to 450 from 480. Let's check the voice version by going to settings, my device tab, all specs. As you can see here, the MIUI version is MIUI 10.8.7.2 and sadly the Android version is still Nougat 7.1.2 and the security patch level is of June 2018. Let's talk about the features of MIUI 10 for a moment. You get a new Android Pie style quick settings and notification panel with rounded quick toggles. There is a new brightness slider just below the quick toggles. This is the notification panel, you can slide to the left on any notification to go to the app settings and you can also snooze the notifications for a particular period of time here. Next we have the new recents menu with the tabs stacked in vertical columns. You can slide to the right or left to dismiss the tabs. You can hold any tab to access advanced options like locking that particular tab, enabling split screen more and going to the settings of that app. 
Next up is the new volume slider. Here you can enable this silent mode within the slider itself and if you hit the three dot menu, you can individually adjust the volume of music, notifications and alarms and you can also enable and set countdown timers for silent and DND modes. The full screen navigation gestures are also available in this ROM. You can enable full screen gestures by going to settings, full screen display tab within system and device and as you can see you can enable and disable full screen mode and it works just fine. You can swipe up from bottom center edge to go to home screen, swipe up and pause for reasons and swipe left or right from sides to go back but personally I found the usage with hardware buttons more convenient on Mi A1. Next you also have face unlock feature in this ROM and it works great just like Redmi Note 5 Pro and it takes about 1 or 2 seconds to unlock the phone. Fingerprint unlock is also there and it is as fast as the stock Android 1 ROM. You also have double tap to wake option under display settings and as you can see it is working just fine. This is the settings panel, network tab, VWLT works fine, calls have no issues, native video calling option is also there, about Wi-Fi there is no issue and dual band Wi-Fi support is also there and I have used hotspot and it works great too. About Bluetooth I have used the phone with my Bullets wireless earphones and there were no issues regarding calls or music playback. Let's open the display tab, auto brightness sensor is working fine but there's a bug with reading mode. The reading mode stays on even after you switch it off and in order to get it back to the normal state, you need to reboot your phone. Under contrast and colors, you can set it to default or warm or cool. The default one looks better and you can also change the text size here. This is sound and vibration tab, haptic feedback works, audio and video playback has no issues with this ROM. Audio is fine with speaker, via 3.5mm headset jack and even the Bluetooth headphones. Under notifications and status bar tab, you can customize app notifications, show notification icons and connection speed on the status bar and you can also enable battery percentage here. Under home screen and recents tab, you can change default launcher, enable or disable app vault and you can also enable memory status in the recents menu. Apart from these, there is second space where you can manage two completely different user profiles, dual app feature, app lock and under additional settings tab, you can turn on quick ball feature, customize hardware button actions, headphones and audio effects just like stock Android 1 ROM, customizations for notification light and one hand mode. About the camera app, you get the default MIUI camera, there is portrait mode option for rare camera, there is 4K video recording but there is no image stabilization. All sensors are working fine with this ROM, accelerometer, magnetometer, gyroscope, light, proximity, everything is fine including the GPS sensor. It is a stable ROM minus the reading mode bug, the performance of this ROM is good and regarding the benchmarks, Antutu version 7 score is 76863 with Geekbench 4 single core score is 869 and multi core score is 4200. You can definitely give this a ROM try if you don't mind the nougat base. So that's it, do like and subscribe if you find this video helpful. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you soon in my next video.